Hey guys, welcome to the workout. We apparently have a visitor today. He was supposed to make an appearance by trotting around in the background, but apparently he had other plans and we're just gonna go with it. So today we are gonna work on our lower body. We don't need a lot of equipment. I've got a pair of dumbbells with me. Not much space, just a mat. Don't worry, you're not gonna need a horse for this one. Oh shoot. Okay, now that Dundee's out of the way, we're gonna get started with some squats that are wider than hip width, so I want your toes to be out just outside of your shoulders like this. And we're gonna keep a nice neutral spine throughout every exercise we do, which means our core is activated, our chin is sticking way up to the sky, and it's not tucked down. We don't wanna try to, for me, triple chin it over here. So we're gonna keep it nice and neutral. One weight or a medicine ball or anything that gives you a little resistance, or none at all is fine. Right under the chin, bring it down, neutral spine. Squeeze the legs all the way up to the glutes, keep the core tight, bring it up into a calf raise, nice and slow, back down, repeat. So that is our exercise number one. We're going to do pretty moderate reps through the whole video here. So we're going to go for about 15. I want your shoulders tucked back, drop them down, open up the chest. And that way we elongate the neck so that we're not creating any more tension. Up, squeeze. Doing good. Now at any point, if you want to grab a heavier weight, go for it. Or like I said earlier, if you just want to go through the motions without it, that's fine until you get the technique. You might be just getting back in the swing of things and you don't want to use a ton of resistance and that's all good. All the way up. Use those calves. Doing great. So I want to hear what you guys are up to for the new year. And if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out, you are in the first week the first month 2019 and I know a lot of people have lofty goals and it seems daunting but it's definitely doable if you put yourself into action have some discipline so I'd love to hear about it so leave a comment below keep going two more shoulders back last one make it count squeeze calves bam okay so this next one I'm gonna demonstrate with no weight we're going to use our hamstrings, back of the leg, a little bit of our glutes, and lower back. So we're going to have a nice slight bend in the knee. We're going to have our, weight, our pretend weights right here in our hands. Come down, chin level, back up, squeeze, stand up straight, tuck the butt under. Okay, so chin level, middle of the lower leg, back up, squeeze. Make sense? Let's add those weights. So, here, I really want you to be careful, don't overdo it. Even if you're using five pounds and it's your first time doing this, you can still injure yourself if you're going too fast. Bring it down, squeeze, bring those shoulder blades together. Doing great. So I noticed Dundee has not made an appearance in the background like I planned. In fact, right now he's eating tumbleweeds in the corner. I don't know what the appeal is there. If I was a horse, I don't think I would eat tumbleweeds. Would you eat tumbleweeds? Now I'm just trying to mindlessly distract you from the pain of the exercise if you're new to this. Keep going. Squeeze at the top, tuck the booty under. Now think about core engagement here. A lot of people forget about that. They're thinking about the back of the legs or the glutes. And I want you to think about your core because as you come up, you exhale, your abs tighten, and that means you're working everything, your entire core midsection. Your abs are getting a little secondary use. Keep going. You got five more. Exhale, squeeze. Last three. Hang in there. Or still eating tumbleweed. <laughs> One more. And call that good. Bring it up. Okay, are you guys doing okay? Don't press pause. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. Let's put those weights down. Let's go into some lunges. So we are going to do a little bit of a curtsy lunge, but I don't want to stress the knee too much, which means when we bring it back, we're going to start here. Instead of a traditional curtsy way out behind us like this, with all that strain on that knee for some of us who are just getting in the swing of things, I want you to bring it to the top. Think about right outside of the hip, right here, and bring it back up. Okay, so repeat, a little bit of an angle. So we're not putting a lot of stress on that knee, but we are giving our glutes a little more of a challenge by bringing that leg out behind us rather than straight directly back. 
Now don't lock the leg at the top. So notice how I have a nice soft knee. I'm not locking it. We try to avoid that at all costs. Keep going. And we sit back into that lunge. And if you don't have a huge range of motion, that's okay. Even if you're just stepping back and doing one of these, I'll take it. All good. Open up that chest. Let's go a little lower for those of you who can. Try to almost drop that back knee down. Hands can go wherever. This is my natural range of motion right here. Some of this action. Always looking like a bad dance move. Now if you want to add some weight, you absolutely can. Holding a medicine ball right here would work. Or two weights by your side. Kicking them like me. Last four. Three. Two. One of my. Damn. Okay. We're going to get down to the ground. Bring it on down. On to our sides. I've got lots of little rocks and stuff over here. It's good. <laughs> Part of the deal. Okay. So. We have done these before if you work out with me often. We're going to prop ourselves up with this hand here, or this arm here, your forearm, right under the shoulder. Bring it up, back down without touching the floor, and repeat. Good. So this looks like one of those exercises that doesn't really do a lot. However, if you go through this with me and you focus on that mind-to-muscle connection, squeeze, Fight that resistance ever so slightly on the way down, squeeze. You're gonna realize that this does work. We don't need a lot of equipment. And a lot of us need to strengthen this side of our hips, the outside of the legs. So this one's a good one to do. You can do it from anywhere. Keep going, squeeze, back down, squeeze, back down. Two more, and then we're gonna hold it, so don't give up. Keep it right there, don't put it on the ground. Hold, hold, hold. And little baby circles towards the back. So you're gonna pretend there's a paintbrush on your toe. Do some of this. Doing good. There should be a little bit of burn. Low impact, right? But definitely isolating those muscles, making them work. Last five, four, three. Looks crazy, but I promise it works. The so last one, bring it down. Relax, okay, so bring it to the other side. We can't just do one leg. I mean, you could, but like I said before, I'm not gonna be responsible for people walking around like that. Okay, other side, bend this leg. Right under your elbow, back up, squeeze, good. So again, this one, don't just go through the motions. Bring it up, squeeze, you feel the outside of that leg and that hip. Yep, that's exactly what you should be feeling. Squeeze the outside of the glutes. Don't rush the cadence too fast, because I see a lot of people rushing through this, and then they're just working their hip flexors and their joints, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's probably not why you quit here today. Keep going. We've got some little paintbrush circles coming up. Give me two more. Last one. And hold it, hold it. Four, three, two, one. Paintbrush circles to the back. Good. Little tiny circles. Doing good. Five good ones, four, three, two, one. Bring it back down, woo! Doing well. Okay, so now we are going to stay kind of on the ground, kind of on the mat. We're gonna grab one weight or two, depending how gung how you wanna be, okay? We're gonna sit back down on our heels. This is gonna be right here in front of us. We're gonna come up, squeeze the glutes under at the top, back down, squeeze the glutes under at the top. So what are we working here? A little bit of everything, including the core, but our quads, they are getting put to work as we come back up into this halfway standing position on our knees. There you go. Squeeze, back down. Don't rest on the heel, just pop it right back up. Should start to burn a little bit. This is one of those, again, it looks kind of funny, but until you're in it, you don't realize what a great little exercise it actually is. Five more. Last four, all the way up. Two. Let's really tuck it under. <laughs> One. Okay. We're gonna get back up. We are almost done. You guys are doing awesome. Go ahead and stand back up with me. Here we are. So we're gonna go into a very wide, very, very wide sumo squat. And I don't want you to get a slip like way out here. 
but a little wider than shoulder width, a little wider than our usual wider than shoulder width stance. So when you come down, I want knees to be right over the ankles, hands can be here, out in front, on your side, by your temples, whatever. Bring it up, squeeze, all the way back down, pause, squeeze. So the idea of this wider stance is we're using the inside of the thighs, the inner leg, a little more than the quad. Glutes are still being activated, it's all connected. And up, hip forward so much that you're folding over like this. I want that chest elevated, so bring that chest up. Doing awesome. Squeeze it under. Shoulders back. Exhale. Good. Keep going. Got ten more. Last nine. Eight horses on the wrong side of the camera. <laughs> Seven. Six, all the way up, squeeze. Five, four, three more. And I got a bonus for you. Two, now hold, 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 hold. Right here, you can rest your arms, whatever. Don't go anywhere. In fact, I had a really interesting conversation with a friend lately, or recently. We we're talking about what girls do in the bathroom. Sorry, this is probably TMI for some people. But you're in a public restroom, and you know, germs and stuff, so you like hover. Probably way too much TMI, but I'm going with it. You got the squat situation. Perfect for this. Perfect. <laughs> You'll thank me later, I promise. You're gonna think of me, ladies, when you're, you know, when you're gonna like pee your pants and you run into a public bathroom and you gotta do a squat and hover. This is your exercise right here. Hold it. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Whew, burn it. And bring it up. What do you think? You did it. Awesome little workout. I'm so glad you guys are following along with me. Make sure you do this two to three times if you have the time and increase your weight as you go. Make sure you challenge your body. It pays off in the end. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave those comments and I'll see you on social media at KelseyLee.com.